Now, if you don't know who Charleston White is, this is him in a nutshell right here. Oh, Crips and Bloods. Death to all GDs and BDs. May they all die like King Bond. May they all die like Tracheo the Ruler. May they all die like Nipsey Hustle in vain. For people that don't know Charleston White is, I'm going to speak about him after this clip. For folks that do know, this is him apologizing for what he said about Nipsey Hussle. Uh, I want to apologize to Nip. Yeah, yeah, to all of, on behalf of all the Crips and the Rolling 60s and the Nipsey Hussle fans of the rapper. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, yeah, yeah, I apologize. And the, and the reason I'm apologizing, because a crip nigga came to me and told me, if you want me to say, we want me to hurt you, nigga, and I want him to hurt me. Uh, yeah, I want Crip Mac to hurt me. So on behalf of Crip Mac and all the Crips and, and, and the Crip Nation uh, and all the Nipsey Hussle fans, I apologize. I'm sorry. I ain't going to ask y'all to forgive me because I know most y'all have unforgiving hearts. But... Uh, I apologize. So that's Charleston Wright apologizing for what he said in the past. Seeing this doesn't make me surprised. He's always been much more um, nicer to Nipsey Hussle. That's why I was surprised when he said Nipsey name in that original rant. Now Charleston White is someone who says that he's trying to reform the hood. He himself said he was once a wild dude just like the youth on the way to being in jail forever or to be dead. And right now what he's trying to do is do his best to reform the hood. So right now he has a lot of talking points where he's challenging a lot of rap and their ideologies their music and stuff like that he has a real beef with old block in chicago but for some reason he doesn't have a a hard time with accepting the ops of those folks that's 63rd and stl and everhart the that that area over there where fbg duck from he himself tries to defend the guy tuka in the rap game it's a trend to diss dead people and tuka was a person that they started with saying they're smoking on tuka and that has led a crazy as um trend in the rap game started in chicago and then the trend has continued everywhere charleston wright recently facilitated an interview between tuka's mother and um shay cheese and that was a dope experience with people being able to see the family that's affected by you know this constant bullying of this dead 15 year old and how many more families have similar interactions now charleston has an interesting wild way of delivering his message and a lot of people do not agree with it and that's why you have this situation right here where crip mac who often goes on no jumper says listen if you want me to take in your message then you got to apologize for what you said in there and charleston wanted his message to get across he said okay i'm gonna go ahead and apologize for what i said so i could get you guys to listen to me now this is interesting because the other day we covered a video with 21 savage where he is saying to people in atlanta yo we got to put the guns down and people are all around are saying yo listen buddy buddy you being hypocritical and maybe that's saying charleston's being hypocritical or too harsh for doing what he's saying right there but at the end of that video i spoke and said listen these are the people that need to be having conversations amongst each other. The dudes that's um, ex-felons or live their life, they got to have those conversations because the streets are not going to listen to squares. They only going to listen to other gangsters, people that have actually experienced the same thing that they've experienced. So with 21 Savage having to say what he has to say, we can have our opinions on the sidelines, but at the end of the day, he is the only person that can walk in those trenches or a person like him could walk in those trenches and really talk to the kids and the kids could understand where he's coming from because they've experienced the same thing as him now i know y'all may have the uk jokes and stuff like that but if you really look into the history then you know the history of that man so once again charles dwight made this apology to make sure that he can get his point across to the crypts to understand that when you are saying certain things you can't you know talk ish to the people or upset the people that you want to hear from you you know but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'm gonna go get about it here though this is my first time covering charles white on my channel so that's why i gave a little quick little background but we're gonna get into some old things man smash the like button we out